What's going on, lovely people? It's Medicosis Perfectionaris, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our 5-minute review playlist. In the last videos in this playlist, we finished talking about nephrotic syndrome, and we started the transition from nephrotic to nephritic syndrome. Today, we will shift a little and talk about genetic diseases that can cause cataract. Cataract is when the lens in your eye becomes opaque. Normally, it should be clear. But in the pathology known as cataract, your lens is not clear. It has been opacified. This could happen in one eye or in both eyes. How can I find this on physical exam? By doing the red reflex. Normally, it should be red and central like this. But if you found that the red reflex is no longer red, instead it is white, this could be a sign of cataract. This was the last video, membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis. It's nephrotic and nephritic. I'm losing protein in the urine, I'm losing blood in the urine. Hey, medicosis, why is this relevant to today's video? Because you can have a genetic disease that presents with cataract and kidney disease. Have you talked about glaucoma before medicosis? Yes, in this playlist we talked about glaucoma pharmacology. Glaucoma affects the optic nerve, usually secondary to increased intraocular pressure, but cataract is a problem in the lens. For maximum understanding and retention, please watch my videos in order. These first four diseases are nephrotic syndrome. The last two are kind of between, so you can call them nephrotic nephritic syndrome. A good kidney should not let protein in the urine. A good kidney should not let red blood cells in the urine. A kidney with nephrotic syndrome, like a bad colander, lets protein into the urine. A kidney with nephritic syndrome lets red blood cells in the urine. When kidney disease causes edema, there is usually periorbital edema. This is not seen with congestive heart failure. Hey, medicosis, how about cirrhosis of the liver? You still do not see periorbital edema. Be very careful because we'll talk about many genetic diseases today. Some of them involve the eye, cataract, and the kidney, so I could have protein in the urine or blood in the urine or renal tubular acidosis or kidney failure. And when the kidney is affected, I can also have periorbital puffiness. The word nephritic has itis. Itis means inflammation. The kidney is bleeding. What are the four key features of nephrotic syndrome? High protein in my urea, low protein in my emia, edema and hyperlipidemia. How about nephritic syndrome? We have seven features. Number one, blood in the urine. And I don't mean just dark blood. I mean actual red blood cells in the urine. This is not beet. This is not myoglobin. This is not hemoglobin. This is good old red blood cells. How can you tell? Look under the microscope. So nephritic has hematuria, hypertension. What else? Jugular venous distension, mild proteinuria, not the nephrotic range proteinuria, mild edema, oliguria, and elevated BUN and creatinine. This kidney is injured. This was discussed in the previous video. Please pause and review. There are about five main diseases that cause nephrotic syndrome and about four main diseases that cause nephritic syndrome. Take Alport, for example. This is a genetic disease with cataracts in my eye and nephritic syndrome. Can I see blood in the urine? Sure. Can I see elevated B and creatinine? Sure. Would I see periorbital edema? Maybe. Would I see cataracts? Yes. What else? sensory neural deafness. Here's your lovely lens in the eye. It is suspended by zonule or suspensory ligaments. Who's suspending it? The ciliary body. Who's supplying it? The oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve number three. In front of the lens, there is chamber filled with aqueous humor. Behind it, there is another chamber filled with vitreous humor. In order for me to see this tree, light has to pass into my eye through the lens through the vitreous humor until it ends up on the retina. So my lens has to be clear. But what if it's opaque and not clear? This is cataract. Once I have cataract, there is no going back. Will you need surgery medicosis? Well, it depends on how big the cataract is. It depends on my age. It depends on unilateral versus bilateral, etc. A famous surgical procedure to repair it is called phacoemulsification. 
Normally, when you shine light into the patient's eye, you should see the red reflex. What's the red? The retina of the patient, because everything is clear in its path. Okay, but what if there is cataract or, God forbid, retinoblastoma? You will see white reflex, which means the red reflex has been transformed into white reflex. That's not normal. This could be seen unilaterally or bilaterally, of course. In a child, what's the most common cause? congenital cataract. What's the most severe disease? Retinoblastoma. Therefore, you should rule out retinoblastoma because this is dangerous. And now, quiz time. I'll ask you a question and you tell me what's the genetic disease. Let's go. A patient has cataract plus sensory neural deafness plus kidney disease. Diagnosis, please. Pause. And the answer is Alport syndrome, nephritic periorbital edema, ear problems, eye problems. Next, a young patient has cataract plus hypotonia plus kidney disease, usually renal tubular acidosis. Diagnosis, please. Pause. And the answer is low syndrome, not to be confused with the Home Depot. Coming up next, a kid with cataract plus sensory neural deafness plus diabetes. Diagnosis, please. Alstrom syndrome. I bet you didn't know it. Now to the following question. Cataract plus thick scaly skin. Some people might describe that skin as scaly like a snake. It's a hyperkeratinizing disorder. Diagnosis, please. The answer is ecthiosis. The word ecthus means fish. Oh, that's an easy one. Congenital cataract plus lens subluxation or lens dislocation plus a very tall individual plus arachnodactyly aortic regurge. Diagnosis? Marfan syndrome, not to be confused with a Marfanoid habitus. Next, congenital cataract plus frontal baldness plus premature hair graying plus neuromuscular disease, hypotonia, temporal muscle wasting. This is wasting of the temporalis muscle mainly and other muscles testicular failure, I mean hypogonadism, with the famous negative feedback of elevated gonadotropin level, because the pituitary is screaming. We may also find diabetes and heart block. Diagnosis? Myotonic dystrophy or myotonic muscle dystrophy. The legend has it that this lovely Egyptian pharaoh had myotonic dystrophy. If you look close at his statue, you might be able to appreciate these facial features. This guy, medicosis, is on another level. What do we have here? Congenital cataract plus toe syndactyly. What does dactyly mean? Digit could be fingers or toes. Remember arachnodactyly? Arachno like a spider. Dactyly, fingers. That was Marfan. But here we have syndactyly. We have digits that are sin. What does sin mean? What do you do on Dropbox or Google Drive? I synchronize. What the flip does that mean? Sin, same. Chrono, time. Oh, same time. Synchronize. So sin means the same. Basically, instead of having five fingers like this, two of them are fused together. Oh, they are the same finger. Syndactyly. The IQ is low and you also have hypospadias. So hypo IQ, hypospadias, which increases risk of urinary tract infection. Now what's the diagnosis here? Come on, people, who's going to diagnose these kids? Oh, medicosis, I don't know. There are experts in the field. My friend, the sooner you realize that the emperor has no clothes and that his skin smells like fetal hepaticus, the better for your psyche. You might be the only one in the country who diagnoses this, so pay attention. The answer is smith limley Oppitz syndrome. If you like this video, you will enjoy my general pharmacology course for macrokinetics and pharmacodynamics. You can watch the first 60 minutes of the course for free at medicosisperfectsnetics.com. You also go there to download the course. 10 gigabytes of some clean pharmacology contents. 10 videos with the notes, with many questions and answers, and of course, my perfect Schnellis ultimate notebook. This playlist is talking about kidney pathology. If you're a master kidney physiology, I have that too on my website. 
I also have the best discussion on acid base imbalances on the face of the planet. And you can get 30% discount towards any course on my website. Just use promo code pancreas. In the next video, we'll talk about post streptococcal acute glomerulonephritis. So please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website, download my courses, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense.